Welcome to I'm Your Target Demographic. Before we get started on this video, there's two things I need to say. First off, I was provided a free copy of Labor in Kenya by the writer, Edgardo Miranda Rodriguez. So thank you. Um, so I just wanna let you know, I got this for free, but I still wanna discuss it and put this out here for people to learn about. Uh, this video also will talk about Puerto Rico because this is a heroine from Puerto Rico with Puerto Rican roots and it's very much intertwined and I want to make sure that we're really focusing on the right things. So if you feel compelled to help out with kind of the disaster relief efforts in Puerto Rico and getting um, whatever resources to them that they need, check out the description. There's going to be a couple different options there for you to either uh, donate time, money, anything. There's going to be a couple options down there um, that I've kind of vetted for the best ones, I guess, or ones that I know are doing good work. So now let's dive into what is Labor in Kenya. This is a self-published graphic novel by the writer Edgardo Miranda Rodriguez. And it's self-published and there's only one volume. It's about 50 to 60 pages, give or take. Um, so it's about the size of probably a small graphic novel. Uh, and then there's a volume two coming out in December of this year. So if this sounds interesting, you can pre-order volume two or you can order volume one. So we follow the story of a young girl named Marisol who is a college student at Columbia who goes down to the University of Puerto Rico to do some studying. And she gains these abilities to basically control the storms and to fly and she's incredibly strong. Uh, and she can kind of do a lot of different things like that. Um, and she uses these powers not to fight a supervillain, but to protect the earth, basically. And so things like fighting against, you know, people that are polluting or um, helping, like there's a sequence where she helps some sea turtles kind of get back on path. So she's kind of trying to right the world uh, in terms of nature. So that is a lot of what's happening here. I'm not sure what volume two, uh, if we'll get a tangible villain, but really she's kind of protecting the earth. The first thing that will stick out to you as I'm showing these images is it's absolutely gorgeous. That the art style is clean and crisp and vibrant and the colors just, it's astounding to look at. Um, and it makes you realize just how beautiful, beautiful some of these locations are and it does a, I've been to Puerto Rico and it does an accurate job of bringing that to life through the page. Um, so the art is astounding. The story that we follow here also has a lot of heart and it has a lot of authenticity. That this feels like, Marisol feels like a person that you could really know. And her family feels like people that you've really encountered. Um, this is all feels very authentic and it has heart. And even though we're not following a classic um, kind of comic book storyline here, there is still a lot at stake and you feel why she's trying to do what she's trying to do and trying to protect what she's trying to protect. Um, it is very believable, um, but it is very different. If you're a traditional quote unquote comic book reader, you might find the story to be a little a little different because it is more so like a Captain Planet storyline in a good way that it feels like these are issues we should be tackling as opposed to creating a villain that can do something outlandish and they defeat him and there's there's no real life correlation to that um, and so this story may may throw you off if you're looking for like who's the villain I want to see a fight there's no fighting here but the story is fighting for something more and I think those of you that maybe aren't traditional comic book readers might find this to be more relatable, that you don't wanna see two people punching each other. You wanna see people fighting for what they believe in, and that is exactly what Labor and Kenya brings to the table. So overall, we have a character that is likable and believable, surrounded by an authentic kind of supporting cast in a story that is full of heart and that you can really buy into, and it's really a hero that we need now. Uh, the art is stunning across the board. Um, it's colored great, it's vivid, it pops off the page. Um, if those sound like two of your priorities when you're choosing a graphic novel or a comic to read, 
Labor in Kenya might be just for you. If you're looking for something that's a little more typical, a little more smashy smash, that's not this. And so I don't want you to get let down when you order this and say, what is this? But know that this has heart, um, this is beautiful, but it is not typical comic book fare, and I think that works to the advantage here of Labor in Kenya. So check it out, there's links in the description. Um, I wanna thank Edgardo again for sending me this copy to read. Um, and best of luck on volume number two, Edgardo. So thanks for watching. Make sure to check out other videos just like this right here. There's a bunch for you to watch. And we'll see you next time on I'm Your Target Demographic.